electrolysis of aqueous solutions. Okay, now this one is not chemical bond. Okay, this one's supposed to be uh, electrochemistry. Let's cancel it. This is electrochemistry. Electrolysis of aqueous solution. Eh? An aqueous solution is solutions of water of a substance. If you still remember, I think I told you before, uh, if you have salt, okay, if you have salt, okay, you heat the salt until it melts. You heat the salt until it melts, eh? it becomes a molten, molten salt, okay, molten salt. Eh? And uh, if you add some water, Okay, you add some water into the salt, then the salt dissolves in water, and that become the aqueous solutions. Uh, aqueous, aqueous solutions. So uh, when a soluble substance dissolves in water, it form an aqueous solutions. Uh. So aqueous solution is a solutions of water. Okay, that's the very first thing that you need to know. Aqueous solutions. So for example, so you heat sodium chloride until it melts, it's, a, it's called a molten sodium chloride. But if you dissolve sodium chloride in water, it's called uh, aqueous sodium chloride, okay? Aqueous solution is uh, solutions of water. Electrolysis of aqueous solution is different from electrolysis of molten electrolyte eh? because an aqueous solution contains more types of ions. I'll show you examples, okay? Uh, for example, sir, in molten sodium chloride, in molten sodium chloride, can, can any of you tell me what's the ion that presents in molten, uh, molten sodium chloride? Sodium chloride, when it's heated, it melts sodium ion and chloride ions, right? Sodium ion and chloride ion. Eh? For molten sodium chloride, eh? no hydrogen and hydroxide. Then for sodium chloride solution, now this is an aqueous solution. Eh? Aqueous solutions. This sodium chloride it will dissolve in this uh, water to form sodium and ion chloride. Okay, sodium ion chloride. But at the same time, at the same times, the water molecule will ionize to become hydrogen and hydroxide ions. So that is the major difference. Okay, there's a major difference between uh, ion that present in molten molten substance and uh, aqueous solutions okay in molten substance there is just the uh, ions of the substance okay but in a uh, aqueous solutions other than the uh, the substance dissolve water will decompose to form hydrogen ion and hydroxide ions as well okay so there are more ions present in aqueous solutions eh? okay why not we write this okay sodium chloride and then plus h2o okay and then you have a uh, sodium ion plus a uh, chloride ion and then plus a uh, hydrogen ion and plus hydroxide ions okay usually we do not write this way okay we write it separately but i don't think it's wrong if you write this okay yeah it's, it's still okay it's acceptable if you write this uh, but usually we separate this into two equations uh. But anyway, this is not important, okay? Just what, what's important is the ion that presence. What are the ions that presence? Uh, so this is the difference between uh, uh, molten sodium chloride and uh, sodium chloride solutions, okay? The major difference uh, between these two. Conclusions. In an aqueous solution, it can be more than one positive and negative ions. Uh, more than one positive and negative ions. And if there is more than one positive and negative ions, then selective discharge occurs okay so what is selective discharge when the ions move to the anode and cathode only one negative ion and one positive ion will be selected to be discharged and this is called selective discharge eh? okay no matter how many types of ions go to po positive electrodes or negative electrodes but only one will be selected to be discharged okay there can be a lot of uh, a lot of the uh, ions uh, different types of ions uh, anode and cathode but only one will be selected to be discharged eh? so we call this uh, selective discharged so for example uh, for example just now uh, we have this uh, sodium chloride right sodium chloride eh? electrolysis of sodium chloride this one is positive or negative electrodes this electrode is positive or negative positive correct because it's connected to the positive terminal of the cell eh? so this is a positive electrode and this is a negative electrode and the negative is called the cathode 
and the positive is called the anode. Okay. Now just now we learned that if this is an aqueous solution, the ion that presence, uh, the ion that present is a so sodium ion, chloride ion, hydrogen ion, and hydroxide ions, right? Okay. Now out of these four ions, can any of you tell me which ion will be attracted to the positive terminal? Which ion will be attracted to the positive terminal? Chloride, okay, chloride and hydroxide. Yes, that's correct, okay? It's chloride and hydroxide. Chloride and hydroxide will be, uh, will be attracted to the positive terminal because they are a negative, right? Okay, the, the negative ion will be attracted to the positive terminal. And the positive ions, the hydrogens and sodium, eh? the hydrogens and sodium will be attracted to the uh, negative terminal. Uh, now, there are more than one types of uh, ions around a uh, positive terminal and more than one types of ion ar around this uh, negative terminal. Uh, but only one will be selected to, to be discharged. Eh? For example, so, uh, chloride and hydroxide. Hydroxide will be selected to be discharged. And uh, sodium and hydrogen, hydrogen will be selected to be discharged. Okay, so only one types of ion will be selected to be discharged. Okay, and this is called selective discharge. Okay, selective discharge. But how do we know which one will be selected to be discharged? Okay, that's what I'll be going to discuss in the next slide. Okay, factors that affect uh, selective discharge. Okay, so for the time being, just need to know that if there is more than one types of ions move to the electrode, only one will be selected to be discharged. One type huh, to be selected to be discharged, and we call this selective discharge. Factors affecting selective discharge. Huh? Okay, the first one is position in electrochemical chemical series. Uh, the second one is concentrations of the solutions, and the third one is the types of electrodes. Okay, so these are the three factors that affect uh, selective discharge.